Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to my channel. I pray that you are all in the best of health and Iman. So continuing with my lifestyle and reminders of the Dean uh, videos, today is the 1st of November. Friday the 1st of November so it is time for me to go and do my monthly um, grocery haul. I shop in quite a few different places but on a regular basis the places where I normally get my groceries from are um, Iceland, um, Lidl, sometimes Tesco's. There are specific things that I go to Tesco's for and sometimes Sainsbury's just depending on but those four are my typical go-to places and I also shop in Costco but we're not doing a Costco haul today. Let me guys, let me know if you guys will be interested in a Costco haul but today I'm going to my local high street and oh of course the, my local market. Definitely shop in my local market as well for more fresh produce. But anyways, I'm going to stop blabbering and um, head out. It is 9... 45 I need to start going quickly guys because it's a Friday and I have to make it back in time to go for um, Jumar prayers because I'm at home there's no reason not to so I'm gonna go come with me Can I have two, please? Yes, thank you. I know when I'm going from some laughing it, I know. And I don't want to get lost in the need. I'm calling because I believe you love me. Getting better. I'm not doing this because I want a better. I'm in the for the top, now I'm in the middle. Saying just to you, I love, I'm doing a lot. With you by my side, though, I will never give up the fight, though. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, I'm a lighter. When it's so dark in this spots, in this spots, oh. I'm catching my breath now. Oh, oh, oh. I'm taking the break now. There's something that I gotta let you know. On my mind, I wanna let it go. Let it go. It doesn't matter what kind of senses I got. Is it now or the future? It doesn't matter. You and I are the same. Maybe you better. It's okay. Look at me, look at me now. I'm your brother, so never put me on the pedestal. I don't want more when I respect you. Respect me back. Getting better. I'm not doing this because I want a medal. I'm in the for the top. Now I'm in the middle. Yeah, yeah. I'm done a lot with you by my side, never give up the fight. You are my Lord and you are my light. You are my light. Oh. I'm catching my breath now. Oh. I'm taking the break now. With you by my side, never give up the fight. You are my Lord and you are my light. You are my light. Oh. I'm catching my breath now. Hey guys, so I've just returned back home. Um, I actually had to stop by the masjid to pray before coming um, home because. I would have missed the salah um, if I had returned home beforehand. So I've got so much <laughs> stuff to get through with you guys. So yeah, let's get right into it. So I've got bananas here, I think five in a pack, and this was like a pound something. Um, I normally use these for smoothies and things like that. So I might put two out and then just chop up the rest, put them in a bag and refrigerate them. Literally, that's how I saw a lot of my stuff. I've managed to keep them for a whole month. It's just refrigerate whatever I can. So bananas, then I've got apples. Again, I use apples as part of my green smoothies. I still love my kale and spinach and banana with coconut water um, smoothie. I have a recipe for that. I'll link a, link a video down below if you guys wanna see how I make my smoothies. But yeah, bananas for smoothies, um, apples for smoothies. But I also like eating apples, like a lot. Okay, so I've got apples there. I've also got a pack of um, peaches just because I haven't had peaches in a while and something different and then I've got a pack of satsumas these were two pounds from Iceland and there was about two four six eight ten I think twelve in the pack uh, for two pounds 
Then, what else? What else? Oh yeah. I've also got um, red seedless grapes. Um, this was two pounds as well from Iceland. So that covers most of my fruits. I have berries in the in the freezer that I use for smoothies and things like that. So I just didn't want to go too crazy on the fruits because if I don't eat them quickly enough, they will expire. But fruits are something that I tend to go back and buy. Maybe after about two weeks, I'll go buy and um, top up with fruits because I tend to eat my fruits quite quick. Um, so those are my fruits. Now let's get into the vegetables. We'll start with. Um, Mixed peppers, so I've got two packs of mixed peppers and again, similarly to what I do to my bananas, I will cut these open and I'll clean up the inside, remove all the seeds and all of that, chop them slightly smaller and refrigerate them so that I always have them in hand to use whenever I need to. I'm actually going to cook today, I'm going to make um, shrimp stew, so I'm going to end up using probably half a pack, if not one pack of this and then refrigerate the other one. Then I've picked up one, two, three, four, five, six of these red onions. I have um, salads and salads are another reason why I would maybe go back to the store after about a week or two weeks and I get on a more regular basis because they expire. By the way, if anyone knows ways to store salad that would make them last a lot longer, please let me know because I could use that. So I try to avoid going to the market too regularly so I do most of my shopping once a month so that I'm not constantly in the market because I find like if I shop every week I just waste money. Then I have some mixed vegetables. Again, this is frozen and this is from Iceland. I love my mixed vegetables. I use them to make fried rice. Sometimes I then throw them in with some stir fry or whatever. Love these and again, these are one pound from Iceland. Then, oh, I'm not sure if when I was doing my fruits I showed you guys. I've got lemons as well. Now, the reason why I picked up these lemons was actually, um, I think about two months ago when I made a video about the type of like summer hacks for hijabis I was asking some of you guys like what I could do to like find a natural alternative for deodorant and I really like the idea of using lemon so a couple of you guys were like try the lemon one it really works and you guys have tried loads of things but it's one thing that you find works so I really want to give that a try so I'm gonna these lemons are going to be put to use this month. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I've never put lemon on my armpits before and I hope it doesn't burn. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try it. Guys, I've been letting you guys know that my iron has been low for quite a while and I'm really trying to put it, you know, get it back at a very healthy level. Alhamdulillah, my iron is back to a healthy level now and so I'm trying to keep that up. One of the changes that I've made in order to make that happen is to switch up the type of sugars that I use. So I no longer use just plain and regular white cane sugar. I don't have that anymore. I have either honey or this bad boy right here. This is coconut sugar and I love this thing. It has a slightly malty taste. So that's why my sweeteners nowadays are either honey or this one. Okay, next. I like to buy these smaller packs of um, veggies because I wasn't brought up in a way where I was taught how to incorporate vegetables like into my food without overcooking them basically. So what I would do is I will steam or boil these and then I will add them as a side dish next to like my main meal. So let's say I was having fried rice or jollof fries or whatever. I will have these steamed or cooked on the side of that as like the sides for my dish. And on the topic of vegetables and eating healthy and all of that, I feel guys like honestly this video was meant to be made today because um, as I was on my way to the market to do this, um, my grocery shopping, I met someone that I know I don't want to say how I know them because it might give away who the person is and I don't want to expose them like that but there is a lesson to be learned from this so I met someone and I was we know a mutual person so this friend of mine and I know a mutual person right so I was asking this person you know how is that mutual friend of ours and I haven't seen them for quite a while and um, this friend of mine was telling me that the mutual person that we know has been in hospital for the past one week the reason being because her daughter has been admitted to hospital for having diabetes. Her daughter is seven years old and this woman herself has diabetes. So I can't imagine how heartbreaking it must be 
to have your seven-year-old be admitted into hospital with diabetes as well. I just want to take that as a lesson to all of us to take our health seriously. I have had a whole, I've had a whole mindset change in order to get here. Two years ago, my grocery shopping did not look like this. It looked more like everything was beige and that was about it. And I had to go on my own personal journey where I started to realize that I need to stop eating just to fill my stomach and I need to start eating to nourish my body. So that changed my whole view and mindset on, on food and how I want to take responsibility for my health. Now, that's not to say that if you eat 100% quote unquote clean, then you will never be sick or whatever. No, everyone gets tested with different things and it might be that you do all this healthy stuff and at last it'll test you and tries you with an illness, but at least then you know that that is for sure a trial because you've done the best that you can to take care of your health. At least then you know that you're not the one that put yourself in that position because you were neglectful of your health. And a lot of us who haven't, who don't have any kind of major health issues, I feel like a lot of the time, myself included, especially with my, like the way I was thinking about food in the past, we take our health for granted and we just like, yeah, you know, it's fine. I just want to eat all the things I like to eat. You know, I'm going to eat like a black person. I'm going to eat like an African. And what does that mean? So for some of us, that's just eating as much like unhealthy foods as possible, eating all the junk and just piling your plate to the maximum and we don't think about the impact that that would have on our health sorry guys this weather is just doing the most i'm constantly having to change my light in food is a type of medicine is a type of natural medicine that allah has given us you know a lot of the time we don't have to be swallowing all these pills because all of the nutrients and all these you know minerals that we're looking for allah has already provided it for us in the food that we have so you know i know no one's perfect i'm not perfect i don't eat quote unquote clean compared to what other the, you know the way other people do it but again this is my own journey and i've started it and i've just i've already started to reap the benefits of it because i feel so much more better than i used to and i don't know if you guys can tell but i've lost a lot of weight as well um i'm not even trying to lose weight anymore but i really enjoy eating more healthily so that's just one of the reminders that I wanted to incorporate into this and we can make even something as basic as the food that we eat an act of worship, an act of ibadah, if there is the right intentions behind it. So eating good, so I'm in good health and I'm in a good shape and I'm able to perform my duties to Allah to the best of my ability because I have the energy to do so. So yeah, that was just a reminder right there for this video. So moving forward, Oh, another type of vegetable that I really like to eat. Now, this is um, more of a traditional type of food, so some of you guys might not eat this, but this is um, okra, right? My Nigerian people, my, my Ghanians will know what this is, my Ceredonians. So this is okra. I love to make okra soup with my swallows. You guys, if you haven't seen my What I Eat In A Day video and you don't know what a swallow is, watch that video, you'll find out. So this is one of the soups that I love to make. So I'll just have this, stick it in the freezer whenever during the month I feel like having okra, it's right there ready for me to make okra soup. Mm -mm -mm. Love my okra soup with fish. Oh, so good guys. So I got that and then I also got, um, yeah, here's my tomato puree, a pack of that. Then let's move on quite quickly. I've got my coconut water. I have two of these. Ooh, two of these because I just sometimes just love drinking these or just putting them, adding them into my green smoothies. They just make it taste a little bit better. And of course we know coconut water is really healthy and helps to hydrate your body and all of that, all that good stuff. So yeah, coconut water. Also, I picked up some herbal teas. You guys know me on my herbal teas, I love them. One of my favorites is a goosey soup. Again, I shared my recipe for a goosey soup in the what I eat in a day video. So yeah, this is a goosey, it's already blended. So I'm Right, so now I have more milk. This is evaporated, um, the carnation's evaporated milk. Again, maybe it's African in me, but this is this is a classic. I like to add this to my tea because it's um, it doesn't make my tea like watery. So, because I feel like regular milk sometimes make my tea watery, so I just prefer to use that for like cereals and things like that. And um, 
this is for tea so yeah and I picked up coconut oil because I've completely ran out of coconut oil so I've got some coconut oil here um, and then I got the jumbo chicken stock this chicken stock I do like because it's halal and it's tasty but guys it is incredibly salty like if you added some of this to like lukewarm water not water that's too warm and you watch the flavors rise and you pour it out you see everything else at the bottom is salt so i'm starting to use this sparingly or maybe just use it in the way that i've said to you guys before just add it with the water take out the stock the flavor and just leave out the salt because it is incredibly salty but at least it's halal so it's an option so I picked that up. Um, I've also got baking soda. I keep this in my fridge to kind of absorb all the smells in the fridge so that you know you don't end up having water smelling funny in the fridge because it smells of all the other types of foods in there. So baking soda is a good one. Now I went into Lidl's and I saw this kind of spread and I wanted to try it out. So it's coconuts and rapeseed oil spread. Um, I have no idea what it tastes like. It looks like butter but We'll see, we'll see if I like it. It's my first time trying it out. And then I've also got um, the original Flora butter as per usual. Next, we've got 12 burgers. Right, so I picked this up from a local store of mine. They sell a lot of like halal burgers and, and chicken nuggets and things like that. So I picked this one up. Also, I had to get black eye beans. Now, again, if you are West African, you know about the black eye beans, right? So. I make beans and I like to have my beans with um, fried plantain so yeah oh, just thinking about it so good so that's why I always like to have beans and sometimes I make rice and beans as well and these are the type of beans that most West Africans tend to use so yeah I love this after that I've got uh, quick cooking noodles um, oh my gosh these noodles are so good for like a stir fry um, there's times when I'm just sick and tired of rice and I want something different so stir fries, couscous, all those other type of carbs, um, quinoa, all those things are pretty good so yeah this is why I used to make my stir fry and uh, yeah it tastes real good. Okay then I've got ooh, a pack of eggs so 15 mixed size eggs. Guys if you're looking to save money and you're thinking about where are, are like the best shops to go to to save money as far as i know you can't be littles when it comes to cereals okay so if you have a family and you, your kids love cereals trust me littles is the place to go they used to have a brand of this exact fruit and fiber cereal that iceland that they were selling littles were selling for 89p and iceland is selling that exact same fruit and fiber um cereal for two pounds but this is also the exact same thing, just a slightly different brand from Lidl's and it actually had the fruits and fiber pieces in it because I know some cereals say fruit and fiber and all of this stuff and you actually open it and there's nothing in there. This actually has the fruit and fiber in it. This was 89p from Lidl's, 89p and it's 750 grams, 89p. Lidl's is the place to go, trust me, for your cereals. Also in Lidl's, I, because I forgot to get my oats in Iceland, I normally like my other, the other brand of rolled oats. I've never tried this one before, but I forgot about it. So I was in Lidl's and I saw this one. I thought I'll pick this one up. This was one pound five pence. Um, this is one kilograms of rolled oats. So this is the Scottish, Scot Scottish porridge oats. So yeah, I don't expect it to be any different. It's just a lot of the time it's all just branded. They're pretty much the same things inside, but. I'll try and see how it goes, but yeah, for one pound five b, not bad at all. So yeah, that is that. It's part of my breakfast. Okay, now we're getting into like the things that I like to eat for dinner and things like that. This is how I make my swallows. Again, this recipe for how I make my swallows is in the video. I will link it down below. But the way that I make my um, swallows is I mix um, starch. Okay with mashed potato flour and it's equal parts so these two I mix them together and this is what I use to make my swallow you can buy pounded yam flowers you can do eba if you're Nigerian 
whatever you like but this is one of my favorites okay apart from the straight up like pounded yam the actual yam that you cook and then you pound <laughs> which i only tend to get when i go back home apart from that this is like a european way of making something similar and it is so good guys it's so good so that's why i got these two this one was two pounds 49 and this one was 3.99 then I picked up my favourite bread from Iceland. It is the only place where I buy my bread. I love this bread. This is the malted um, medium sized bread from Iceland. It's so filling. It just looks so healthy because it's a brown and it's got bits and pieces in it. And I got ooh, extra virgin olive oil because this is the oil that I now cook with most of the time. If I have to do something like deep fried chicken, then I might go for vegetable oil. But all of my other cooking, it's extra virgin olive oil guys and this is the one that I really like then oh and by the way this is $5.99 okay we all know olive oil ain't cheap but it's good for you so it's another investment that I choose to make okay so that's that then I went and got fish this was the fish I don't know if you guys may have heard in the in the clips that I was showing that I was speaking to a brother I always buy my fish from there so he knows me um, and I don't know what type of fish this is guys I don't know the name of it I've asked him once and he told me and I completely forgot and I feel bad to like ask him again so but I really like it it's not bony and it has a lot of like a lot of meat you know some fishes just don't have quite enough meat like you, you take a little bite and there's just bones coming out of everywhere this isn't like that it does have bones but it's not like the little bones in between the meat kind of thing it's, it's really meaty it's it's just so nice and it doesn't taste fishy either there are certain type of fishes that I stay away from because they're so fishy this isn't like that this is kind of like meat but fish it's crazy but I really love that then I got my king prawns. I got two packs of king prawns because, like I said before earlier, I'm going to be making king um, prawns stew today. So that's why I picked up these king prawns. Prawns again are something that is expensive. I don't buy this like every month. It's just whenever I feel like it. This is 400 grams, and this was eight pounds. So I picked two for 16 pounds, and. Uh, that stew is going to last me a while because I'm going to make clothes and put some in the freezer and all of that. So yeah, that is most of the other items that I bought. I bought a few things here and there but they're not food items. And all of my shopping guys came up to I think £120. I'm trying to stay within that range for my food um, shopping for most of the month. And then here and there maybe get a few more bread, a few more like salads and little things like that I expire quite quickly but overall I think my monthly spend on food is about 140 um, maximum some months is way less than this because some of these things I don't finish it within a month so it ends up being stored and it just carries over until the next month a very good example of that is rice I normally buy 10 kilo <laughs> of rice from my local um there's a shop in my local market i just carry that big 10 kilo of rice and i store it i have it it lasts me a good three months if i eat rice absolutely every single day then maybe two and a half months but most of the time it's about three months that that 10 kg of rice is going to last me and so i don't have to buy rice every month so there are things that just kind of carry over it's not every single month that i spend 140 but it's just a budget that i set for myself ideally before i started eating healthy in all honesty my monthly budget for food would probably be about 110 pounds but i've made the decision to spend that a little bit more on more healthier stuff because i work hard and you know my health to me is a priority so i choose to spend a little bit more just so that i know that i'm eating well and i'm trying my best with how well i'm eating i'm not just eating a whole bunch of junk cheap food you know that i've been able to show you guys that you can have a generally healthy um diet without spending a whole bunch of money it's all about where you shop okay i've gone to iceland and all of these like local stores but i could have gone to sainsbury's or waitress and spend probably twice the amount of money that i've spent here on these type of foods but i choose to 
be more conscious about where I shop in order to get the best deals but the quality of the food is still very important to me so I hope that I've just been able to like give you guys an example of what an average person who is trying to get on a healthier diet spends in a month on their food and what type of foods they eat so I hope you guys have enjoyed the video anyway if you have definitely give me a thumbs up I'm gonna go and pray Asura now because Asura is in and um, get some food to eat <laughs> so and I'll put all of this away and uh, cook as well so I've got a lot to do in my afternoon anyways thanks guys for hanging out with me today and inshallah I will see you in my next video assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh